Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. The incrementation operator. That should be something that's very familiar to you if you program at basically any level, but in case you don't, it looks something like this. If we have a variable that holds a numeric value, what we can do is we can stick two pluses at the back of it, and what that means is to increment its value. So in this particular code snippet, x is given the value 1. After we run x++, plus plus, x becomes 2. So yeah, it's a very simple concept. I will consider this to be one of the fundamentals that basically any programmer would know. But what's more interesting is surrounding this, there are actually several other things that you may not know. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. First, did you know that this expression actually returns a value? Now, it might not seem like it needs to. In a way, it kind of doesn't. But when you actually do x++, it actually evaluates to something. On top of that, there's actually another variant of this operator in which the incrementation comes first. Namely, you'll have to write plus plus x. And while both these operations are known as incrementations, they are actually slightly different when used in this context and have slightly different names. A postfix incrementation is what we are very used to with the operator at the end, whereas a prefix incrementation is the one with the two pluses in front. And they actually do slightly different things. The reason why we don't see this difference, however, is because we don't ever use the return value. Let's just look at this in action, and I think they'll make it clearer. If we were to try to print out x++, what happens is you get the original value of x. What this means is it actually gives you x first, then changes its value. This is different from prefix incrementation, in which the incrementation happens first, then the value is returned, so you actually get a value that is larger. What's even more interesting is that when you actually string these two operations together, which is something that you really shouldn't be doing, what you end up with is potentially undefined behavior. Take a look at this chunk of code. This is written in C, and basically one part of the C definition actually says that there are no rules about how this works. When I compile this on Windows and I run it, I get a particular answer. When I compile this on a Linux-based system, which in this case is my Raspberry Pi, I actually get a completely different answer from the exact same program. For the example I've just shown you, it is actually behavior that is not really a bug, it is just how C works. Depending on what system you're running a program on, the order of evaluation is different, which is why you get a different answer. So yeah, there you go, that's why you shouldn't mix these operations. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.